Oh, they're gonna crash into me. What are you guys doing? Are you drunk or something? ahead of him. Come here. There it is. Get down. Oh my god. I got him. I got him. That would've been a lot easier if I didn't have to freaking brace three times, but that's okay. Carry on, Sammy. I'll back to you first, boy, Jay boy. Now we best be getting back or the old man'll have my guts for garters. That was a little bit too close for comfort. I actually did that scene earlier, but I failed because it didn't brace enough. It was kind of stupid. That's okay, you still gotta get the 100% sync. Gotcha. At least there wasn't a stipulation where I had to maintain 50% health on the ship. Because <laughs> that would have been a little dicey. What I need, and I'll give them to you. Simple. You got a ship, could find them all to boot. Who is that man? Him? Some old salt always on about letters he's got from Captain Kidd. Nonsense, really, but he doesn't hurt no one, so I'll leave him be. Talk to him if you fancy, but be warned he'll chew your ear off. Anyway, the Aquila's here for you. If you should get a pang for the open sea, we'll be waiting. Now I implore you to head up the hill before the old man comes out of retirement just for me. Side mission with the crazy kook. He weeks. And not even a goodbye before you left. Sorry. Well, what are you waiting for? Put them on. Finally! Oh my god. Need a haircut though. Once upon a time we had a ceremony on such occasions. But I don't think either of us are really the type for that. You have your tools and training, your targets and goals. And now, you have your title. Welcome to the Brotherhood, Connor. Sweet. Now that is more how I like it. Now I look like a boss. Welcome back, Desmond. You'll be happy to hear there's actually good news for once. Yeah? I've managed to locate a power source, and it's relatively close by. Up for a trip to Manhattan? Is it safe to leave? Abstergo's gotta be looking for us. Obviously it's not safe. Can't exactly sit around here hoping to get lucky though, can we? 
We need that power source. Besides, I'm sure you can cook up some way to hide our movements. Maybe. The Templars have access to all kinds of satellites and camera systems. We'll need to find a way to mask our digital signature. I can probably camouflage the van, too. But there's not much I can do for us. That's an easy one. Swagger. Where is your gauntlet? You should have a hidden blade. Local utility companies have assured the public that they're completely prepared for the upcoming solar maximum. Disruptions to service are expected to be minimal. If only they knew. What's this? A remote operated camera. It'll provide us with a feed while you're on mission. This will let us talk to each other. We're almost there, so listen up. The artifact is in an office penthouse in Lower Manhattan. At this time of night, direct infiltration is gonna get you noticed. I think we're better off having you drop in from above. What do you mean, above? Parachute. Testing, one, two, three. Yep, read you just fine. Now why don't you power up the camera? I've got pictures, running diagnostics. Perfect, I've got a nice, strong signal. It's kind of blurry, don't just you think? Heads up. There's no elevator access from here on out. You'll have to get up there the old-fashioned way. Bitch, please, I'm an assassin. Swing! Uh oh. Go for free running. Go down. Oh, no hold still. It's a lovely Jesus. <laughs> Seriously, Sean? Fuck you. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, never mind. That's not what I was supposed to do. Thought we were gonna pull the shoot there. Okay, this way this time. <clears throat> Gotta get my Mission Impossible on. I understand the bleeding effect, how like, it transfers the experience of Ezio to Dozen, but it can't really change him physically, right? So, no matter, even if there is experience involved, there's still a great deal amount that has to do with his physical ability. Oh boy. That's quite a jump. Oh. Assassin's Creed modern Jesus. day. Look on the bright side. No security to worry about. And on the not so bright side, the slightest misstep means you're effectively at the taste. Shut up, Sean. It's kind of funny because there's actually people who do like that kind of stuff and this kind of stuff in like real life. People who climb skyscrapers just for fun. It's insane. Where are you going? No, going this way. 
This way? Yeah. Oh god! <gasps> wow! No big deal. Drop down and go splat. Almost there, Desmond. Once you reach the top of the lit up crane, you should be high enough to make the jump. Should? It'll be fine, don't worry. Well, you might want to worry a little. I'm pretty sure she was high when she was running the numbers. <laughs> Sean! A joke. It was a joke. Or was it? Quite the crew I got working for me here. Come on. Get up there. Oof. That's a tough drop. Jump when you're ready, but wait for my signal to open the chute. Timing's really important here. Too soon or too late, and you'll miss the building. I hope your math is correct. Go! Now! Open your chute now! Fuck! Oh, thank God. Good landing, sir. Red Bull Stratus would be proud. Little too easy, I think. Desmond. Not exactly what I expected, but I guess your kind doesn't have many options these days. Who are you? Ask your father. Now give me that. I don't think so. Look, I'm not supposed to kill you, but the boss man didn't say anything about fucking you up. So you got to the camp. A little bit of a twist right there that's supposed to kill us. Feels like I'm getting played now. So who the hell is Daniel Cross? Believe it or not, he used to be an assassin. The assassin, the way I've heard it told, but it turned out he was a sleeper agent for Abstergo, programmed to infiltrate and destroy the organization. How did he know you were there? We could be compromised. They must have caught me snooping inside their network and sent Cross to see what we were after. If they were aware of our current location, we'd know. Though, I will say this. It doesn't bode very well for future expeditions. I've set up some cameras topside. If anyone shows up, we'll see it. I'd suggest you go see about finding a socket for that power source. Or we can return to Connor if you prefer. All the artifacts in the world won't mean a thing without the key. Go with the socket idea. Actually, guys, you know what? I do have to take a quick break, so thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you guys are still enjoying the series. As always, if you enjoy the series, give the video a quick rating, and I'll see you guys next time for some more AC3, alright? Have a fantastic day.